How to improve your handwriting. A few practical points can make a lot of difference to the ease and quality of your handwriting. Most of them are common sense. However, it is amazing how often they are ignored. From time to time, most of us scribble away curled up in an armchair or sitting in front of the fire. This is not good enough if you want to improve your writing. First, you must have good light. Make sure that the shadow of your writing hand is not getting in the way. Try to sit so that the light is coming from your left if you are a right-hander. If you are a left-hander, of course, the light should come from your right. You must be sitting comfortably, straight up and well balanced. Your chair should be the right height for your desk. You should be able to rest your arm comfortably on the writing surface. If the table is too high, then your shoulders are forced into an uncomfortable position. Be careful of chair arms that get in the way. Some left-handers find it helpful to sit in a higher chair than a right-hander would choose. The surface that you put your paper on is important too. You need to write on something resilient but smooth. The scratches and grain on an old wooden desk will come through the paper and disrupt your writing. A hard, shiny tabletop will make your pen skate over the surface of the paper and make your lines thin and scratchy too. A pad or a few sheets of scrap paper underneath will ensure that you have a sympathetic base to write on. Have you tried writing on a sloping surface? It is very comfortable and a great help if your hand is at all unsteady. The Victorians knew what they were doing. They used sloping writing desks. All you need is a board propped up on a couple of books. Where should you place your paper? Your arm needs to be able to move freely if it is to work at its best. If you are right-handed, then your paper should be placed slightly to your right. If you're left-handed, it is even more important that your paper should be over to your left side. Your arm has to stretch across your body if the paper is in the wrong position. You cannot see what you're doing for a start. Your movements are cramped and your writing will be cramped too. If you do not believe this, try putting your paper on the wrong side and see what happens. Far too many manuals say place the paper straight in front of you. This may not be disastrous, but it's not very helpful either. You may like to work with your paper at a slant. You must experiment and see what is most comfortable for you. What works for one person is a positive hindrance to the next. If you're using a large sheet of paper, you may need to move it up as you progress. If the lines are long enough, it may be a help to move your paper from side to side. Then you're ensuring that your arm is never overstretched or cramped and your writing benefits. These are all straightforward points, but the next one is not so easy. You need to be relaxed. Tension causes jagged and even writing. You may leave out strokes or whole letters and your writing can be pulled in all directions. If you get tense when trying to write carefully, it is not surprising. It may be that you're worried by the appearance of your handwriting, so trying hard to improve may make it even more impossible to relax. Whatever the cause, and there are plenty of reasons in all our lives, you must work consciously to relieve tension. Are your knees crossed? If so, and cross them. Are your shoulders hunched and tense? If so, relax them. Are you gripping your pen in a vice-like hold? Then ease up. You will find that you only need gentle pressure to let your pen glide over the paper. You may need to remind yourself to stop gripping so tightly. Check every few lines to make sure that you're not tightening up. If your fingers are gripping too hard, you can set up tensions that spread up to your arm and your shoulder. Writing should be a pleasure, not a strain.